Alright, boys and girls, welcome to Gorn Guitar. We have James Bay, and he's been with us before in collab, but also as a single artist, uh, member One Life is one song, I believe, is covered here in Gorn Guitar. Uh, anyway, James Bay is a great singer song artist, and uh, it's something about these uh, who play guitar. It gets a little bit genuine, especially if you do tutorials on them. They, uh, yeah, it's easy in some different way to just uh, translate it, and uh, yeah, that's the case with James Bay. He's a true guitarist, and uh, that makes it nice to cover. This song is called Easy Distraction, all right? So it's a pretty straightforward song when it comes to chords and also the playing. So we're gonna have and use one string pattern and four different chords and that's it. So let's start with that. Capo on six, you see that it's very high up there because we will uh, uh, have easy chord here and uh, we'll skip a lot of these bar chords that are not necessary. Uh, for the specific song, so with that we're gonna solve the problem with capo, capo on 6, and we're gonna go over the A, F sharp minor, E, and the D sus chord. So let's do that, starting with A, and it goes open A, 2nd D, 2nd G, 2nd B, and open E. And if you think that is too many fingers in one small area, you can go with the sus version as well, and that means you take away the 2nd fret B string, and make that open so it's only two fingers like this. Everything else is the same. So that will be the A. Next chord is the F sharp minor. And that's a bar chord. You play the bar on the second fret and you cover all strings there. And then you need to add fourth on A and fourth on D. We have E next. And that is open E, second A, second D, first G, open B, and open E. And then we have the final chord, the D sus2. And the whole idea is to get the open E string down there, because that follows this chord. So that is the reason for D sus2. And it goes open D, second G, third B, and open E. All right. So we're gonna start look at the string pattern, and we're gonna do that with A. So uh, yeah, grab the A. I'm gonna go with the sus version now, just to be clear about that. It's easy, so I go with that. And uh, one strumming round will be down, up, down, up. All right, so it goes like this. Okay, so I like to emphasize the second and last down, and I'm gonna hit the higher strings down here on that one, all the downs and ups. I try to play more on the bass mid area, so bass, bass, top, bass. Like that, you get a certain effect with that strumming. So if you can, that's great. Otherwise, you just go down, up, down, up. So down, up, down, up is one round. The intro starts now with A, four string rounds, and D sus four string rounds, like this. Two, three, four, D, two, three, four. All right, and now into the song. So, we have the first verse, and you're gonna start to play A for 16 rounds. So you're gonna hang on there and play A for 16 rounds. Yeah, you can count, but you can also learn to play in a certain way when you just feel when it's time to move on to next chord. So that comes with uh, uh, yeah, a lot of playing time and uh, that is what happens. But yeah, to start with, to make sure you make right, uh, you can count the rounds and just play one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, like that for four rounds or however you wanna 
uh, make it up in your brain uh, what is easier for you to count. So anyway, A, 16 rounds, then F sharp minor, four rounds, then E, two rounds, then comes a pause or an extra down. And then comes the D with eight fast downs. Okay, I'm gonna explain in the way that I'm playing for you so I understand what I mean. So uh, let's go over the A, 16 rounds, F sharp minor four, E two, plus an extra down or a pause if you want to do that, that's great. And it works perfectly fine as well. Short pause and then comes the D, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, eight fast downs, all right, like this. That is one round. Okay, so um, A, to start with that, you had 16 rounds. So I, in my head, I feel when it's time to go over there to switch chords after the 16 rounds, but you can just count like two, three, four, again. these fours in your head then it's easier to just move on with that again to the F sharp minor four two three four and then comes the E you play two rounds one two and now you have one option either you go with a short pause there or an extra down and then you go to the D one two three four one two three four fast downs okay so the E was into the D. Or with the pause it goes. All right, so short parts are next to down. That's very, very short time you have there. So uh, yeah, you maybe try with a pause there and you make sure you get the D right in time there to hit the eight fast. You can start like that if you want to and then play an extra E if you want to. Yeah, it's up to you. Anyway, that is the first verse. Then comes the instrumental part, and just to hang on with another eight, uh, sorry, four times of A, so. And after that comes the second verse. So the first and second verse comes right after each other. That is played in the exact same way as the first verse, so no changes there. After the second verse, you're gonna come into the chorus play. Now, you're gonna play A, four string rounds, then D sus, four, then F sharp minor, four, then we have the ending there again with E2 plus an extra down and eight fast downs on the D. E2, down or pause, and then eight downs on D. So you're gonna play that for one round. So A4, D4, F4, E2 plus down, and D eight fast downs, like this. And that's the end of the first chorus. Then we have the instrumental part that comes right after, and it's played again with A for string rounds. Then comes the third verse, and it's played again in the same way as the previous verses, no changes there. We have A16, F4, E2, plus down, and D8. That's the third verse, and then comes the second chorus. It's played in the same way as the first one, but it's twice as long. So two rounds of A, D, F, E, and D. And that is the third, sorry, second chorus. After that follows a post chorus part. And what you're gonna do here is to play A4, string rounds, and D4, string rounds. You're gonna do that for two rounds. So A4, D4, A4, D4. And that is the post chorus part. After that, we're gonna land in the bridge land here, bridge area. That's about two minutes and 30, sorry, 23 seconds into the song. So two, 23. You're gonna continue the strumming. You're gonna play F sharp four, 
E4, A4, D4, F sharp 4, and E4. All this is strumming around, so it goes like this, F, E, A, D, F sharp, E4. And so sorry for the hang up there and the strings on the way up. My nails are stuck there, but that is how it goes sometimes. It's live and we just play on. So that is the end of the bridge part. And now we are into the final part of the song. That's the third chorus. You're going to play that for four rounds in total. The first round, you just play one down per chord. So that means you play A, the pauses in between, then D. Imagine you play the strumming, what you don't. So that's how long the pauses are. You're gonna play the F sharp. And you're gonna play E. And then you're gonna play the eight fast downs. And that finished the first round out of this four. The next three rounds you play in the same way with the strumming. And after you finished four rounds in total with this first only one down per chord, you have finished James Bay's easy distraction all right so uh nice song from him coming out there i really liked him as an artist and a uh, great song as well so um hope you enjoyed this and if you did feel free to uh leave me a comment um like this tutorial if you want to uh, if you thought it was great and subscribe to this channel it makes my day and it gives me motivation to go on so thank you so much for that guys and uh, yeah play tuned